Yeah, I, I think this year it was. I think, uh, you know, we've, uh, this team's had a lot of really good defensive performances, you know, in the past. But I think as far as this year and how Drexel really scores the ball, I, I think uh, I was really, really pleased with these guys' effort, you know? 51, James uh, Baker, Baxter, his parents were sitting behind me in the stand, so they were very upset through most <laughs> of the game. You, you really bottled him up, um, which you don't have a lot of size. And um, how were you able to try to contain him? I think, uh, I don't know if anybody knows this, man. I think uh, I saw a stat, I think statistically, we're the smallest Division One team in the country. <laughs> so uh, now that part, part of that's Damien and Reggie, you know, probably lower our average a little bit. But, uh, but I think that, uh, you know, we just we knew we had it really help. We talked about that. We talked about really digging hard on the post when he when he dribbled the ball, um, and I think our guys really locked into that. Uh, we we forced him to get rid of the ball, you know, which is he hadn't had to do all year. Uh, everybody's guarded them one on one in the post, which is crazy because he's really good. Um, we didn't we don't double, so we didn't want to do that, but uh, but we did dig really hard when he started bouncing the ball, and, and we forced him to get rid of it. And uh, again, I, I think the guys this this team's so good at just trusting us, you know, trusting the coaching staff and. Uh, and buying into kind of what we asked them to do. So I was pleased, though, because I was really worried about him, uh, him and 11, both. Um, since you and I just talked about Damien, um, as uh, a coach who is not uh, very tall, do you <laughs> take some pride in Damien and uh, his ability to get, he, you know, whenever he can still score inside, uh, he, he just has a great ability at his, at his yeah, to, you know, I've, I've coached a lot of small point guards, you know, um, in, in my career. And, and, and Damian is, is one of the best ones I've coached, man. And don't tell him that. But, uh, but I think, you know, he, he just had to be that small to play at this level, you have to be a special player. And, and I've talked to him about that since the day he got on campus. Uh, number one, it starts on the defensive end. You, you've got to be special defensively because guys are going to try to take advantage of you. And, and he's really learned uh, how to do that. He's grown in that area. Um, and then offensively, he's, he's a special. I've never coached a small guy like him that's as good offensively as him. Uh, he has a knack for getting to the rim uh, and, and scoring, even with, with big guys around him. Uh, and then the play that he made at halftime, uh, that's something that we have specifically for him. Uh, and, and, you know, he can make any play off of it. But that's, that was a big-time play uh, and a big basket for us, I think, going into, the, into, the, you know, into halftime. But he's a special kid, man. Um, you know, I, I love that kid. Uh, I wish I, I was telling our guys, our staff the other day, we're going to have to – we're going to work really hard to replace him. Uh, he's going to be hard to replace. So, uh, like you said, uh, HG being one of the smaller teams uh, uh, in the league, how does it feel kind of, you know, after this game being able to be like, hey, we can play with, you know, big men on the court, you know, we can, we can hold our own. How does that feel for you and the team? Yeah, I, I think, it, you know, it, this was a good test for us. Uh, I mean, this was uh, – I told our team this was – kind of a preview to the whack, I think, you know, night in and night out. We're, you know, across the board, it's going to be a battle like it was the other night, I, th I think, physically. Um, and, and so to know that we could go in there, even at our size, and, and, and match up, uh, but that's what we do. You know, we usually bring the fight to our opponent. Um, we, we try to attack them defensively, and, and I think to see that we could continue to do that, even against a team like Drexel, uh, that's really good offensively and, and has some bigger, stronger guys, uh, I was extremely pleased. And, uh, you know, it's not going to get any easier this Wednesday. Um, I, I think I was just I was telling our staff just a little bit ago, I think Wednesday's going to be a street fight, man. I mean, these guys, um, they're just as good as we are defensively. I think you look at the numbers across the board, and we're almost dead even with everything. Uh, both of us are extremely physical. Um, and so I think, I think Wednesday might even be a bigger test for us, you know, physically. So CAC Vegas, you have won a couple of big games so far this season. So what are you expecting from them on Wednesday? Can I touch on a little bit? Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be physical, man. Um, it's going to be the most physical game we've played all year. I think it'll be more physical than the A&M and Utah game. I think, uh, you know, they, they take a lot of pride defensively, um, just like we do. They play very similar to the way we do. Um, you know, they're, they're very, very well coached. Uh, I mean, he coached at the high major level. Uh, he's been around for a long time, and um, he knows how to coach defense, man. And I think um, they, they beat Boise State. I think it was like 49 to 46 or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but you don't go in – nobody goes into Boise State and just wins uh, at the mid-major mid level. And so they're going to be really good. It's going to be a, a true test for us. It's going to be very different uh, than the game we played this weekend. Um, it's going to be, I think, a battle of, of who, can, who can score the most. 
Uh, well, knock on wood, right? I mean, we're, we're pretty healthy. I, I think, um, you know, um, we have an excellent training staff. They do a great job of taking care of our guys. Um, but uh, we've had some little nagging injuries coming up to this point. But this is probably the, the healthiest we've been all year. Um, but uh, it's just the, the typical things that come with, you know, the grind of a season. So you're kind of on the back end of a homestand. What have you seen so far in this homestand, and what do you kind of want to carry forward throughout the rest of this homestand? Uh, we've been lucky, man, I, in terms of being able to play everybody. You know, I, everybody on our team has played in every single game, I think. Um, and I, th I think almost everybody on our roster has been able to score in these last four or five games. And so um, that's rare. You don't usually get that. Uh, and I think that's a testament to our guys, though, and what, what we've been able to do and, and how we've been able to defend our opponents. Uh, we've been able to build, build some leads and get guys in the game. And um, that's helped us. I think our, our rotation has grown uh, because I've been able to see some guys, you know, get on the floor and, and they've earned a little trust, you know, um, just not only in myself, but in their teammates. And so. Um, I hope that we can continue that. I hope that we don't have to shorten our roster. Um, you know, I hope we can continue to play uh, the rotation we've been playing.